Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. If you are new to ePlan, you may wonder what's the proper way of start with ePlan and how do I create my first project? In today's video, we will cover this subject. All right, we are here in our ePlan Electric P8 interface. We are assuming that you just installed the software proper and you went through your ePlan Electric P8 training. And now you would like to know how to create your first project. As you learned in your Electric P8 training, you will need to create a project. A project can be created under File, New, and now you have to enter the project name, storage location, and choose from a template called basic project. Let's just enter here a project name. The storage location is also self-explaining, but the big question which a lot of customers have is, what is the right project template now for me? Do I have now to try every basic project out in order to know which one fits for me? It would be so nice if there will be a page where the recommendations of ePlans are displayed and for you easy to choose and to download. This challenge ePlan understood and created the ePlan engineering standard team, which created those templates. Now I'm going to show you how to find those templates, download them and utilize them. For this, we will close this window for now. Close this window and go here under ePlan Cloud. From the version 2024 on, you can find here under ePlan Services, ePlan Engineering Standard. If you click here on ePlan Engineering Standard, a micro page in the browser will open. So this is the ePlan Engineering Standard page on ePlan.com. If you scroll now down, you will see the explanation and mission of the ePlan engineering standard team to provide you proper templates for an easy start with our software. And if you scroll here a little bit more down, you will find discover our downloads. I'll click now on discover our downloads. And here you will see a wide selection of templates to choose from which you can download and utilize. Here on the left side, there are a couple of filters which you can select from, like the type, norms, status, solutions and industries if you choose from. Maybe it's good to choose from the type which you would like to have, as we have here standardization templates, which are basic projects essentially, application sample, best practices and industry samples. If you choose here, for instance, standardization templates, you will see the filter is now down to seven results. And then the big question for you, are you using IEC or NFPA? This mainly uh, probably is depending on where you are located in the world. I will just choose for the sake of this example, NFPA. And here you see now three results. You see a basic project, a macro project for parts, and a macro project for schematics. And here, if you choose to download those, you can go to discover more. You will get a brief explanation of the project, some insights with pictures and descriptions. And if you scroll a little bit further, you can press download now. If you click download now, you will receive two PDF handouts in German and English, as well as the basic project. I will click now here to download now. This will download the file. And if I click here under open file, you'll see the zip folder with the basic project as well as the manuals. I'll recommend you before you use it, maybe to read through your manual and then copy this basic project into your templates folder. So we will remember here EEC stands for ePlan Engineering Standard, basic project NFPA inch. 
and try to create now a project. So going back to ePlan here, as we remember, we will click under File, New, one more time here, project name, and here on the basic project, I pasted the basic project NFPA inch, which we will now select, and then just press open. Here you can specify your creator. Press OK. And in the next couple of seconds, ePlan will create the project. You can update the master data if you choose to. And the project properties window is opened. Here you should obviously enter those properties to have them displayed and proper in your project. We'll just skip this for now. And as you see, now in the pages navigator you will see a couple of template pages like the cover sheet which says always schematic project and the project name these were the properties which i was talking just about uh, which need to be entered so they can be uh, displayed here you will see some promotional pages like this here a disclaimer and then here you see here the title page, again with the properties which you can fill out, a table of contents page, as well as a couple of schematic pages structured by mounting location, document type, schematic, and then three pages. One blank page without letters, a one letter page, and the two letter page. This is, as we see, a very nice basic project for beginners to start with and a good template to further customize it to your own standard. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Also, I'm curious, are you already using the ePlan Engineering Standard? Let me know in the comments below. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.